This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by the HTC One X Plus. Coming up on Destructoid, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale has been reviewed. There's some new rumors about the next Xbox and tomorrow's Thanksgiving, which means Black Friday is following shortly after. So find out how not to get trampled in your local Walmart right now on Destructoid. Welcome to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville. Is it casual Friday already? No, it's that close to the holidays, I just don't care anymore. It's not even a tropical holiday. I have seasonal depression, Good Tara. Good God, man. Look at the rainbow Burn coming out of my torso. shirt already, please. Never. I was lying before when I, I said I liked more. it. I want more shirts like this. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. So, um, last episode, people bitched at us for not reporting on the Xbox stuff, even though it wasn't out by the time our episode came out, so now we're going to report on it. Yeah, using the magic of time travel to mm -hmm. fix what was wrong. Yes. Uh, obviously, the Wii U came out last weekend, and it's a shiny, pretty new piece of hardware that everyone is dying to get their dirty, stinky little fingers all over just because it's new or because they want one. But let's not forget that more new hardware is sure to follow. Xbox World Magazine, which is actually going out of print real soon, just published a big pile of juicy, allegedly leaked information about the Xbox 720 or Durango or whatever the hell it's going to be called. Now, take all this with a grain of salt because it is sort of speculation, but check it out. Probably the biggest piece of news in this leak is that the device is just going to be called Xbox, dropping Ooh, the number altogether. That's sort of. so Apple. I know, right? I kind of, I kind of like it. It's very, very trendy. Yeah. Uh, it makes more sense than Durango because it doesn't sound like an SUV, and moms already know what an Xbox is, so there's that brand recognition factor. Uh, rumors about the hardware lineup with stuff we've heard before, including um, a Blu-ray player, Connect 2.0, which will have better recognition and will scan your face and you know keep you on file, as well as a TV in and out so that it can work as a DVR. It's also allegedly packing eight gigs of RAM and a quad-core processor with each core divided into four logical cores, and I have no idea what that means, but I mean, it, it sounds like common sense to me. It's just totally logical, right? Yeah, sure. You know, it's a dumb joke. Um, now, that all this should be taken with a grain of salt, again, as rumors, speculation, hearsay, and, and uh, possibly heresy, uh, but, you know, considering that Microsoft doesn't have any new gaming hardware to push this holiday season, and the leak is coming days after the Wii U's release, it wouldn't exactly be too crazy to assume that there's, there's some truth to it. Maybe they're trying to just, yeah. you know, keep the old, the old Xbox name in circulation. Uh, or, you know, Xbox World, maybe they've been saving this bit of info for what's possibly their last issue. Either way, it's fun to think about it, and we love speculating, and it's, uh, it's probably a good thing to keep in mind before you shell out 350 bucks, just because there's a brand new thing that came out last weekend, so, yeah. you know, the Wii U is cool and everything, but, uh, yeah. you know. I want one of them Wii U's. I've do decided. you? I do. Really? I'm going to try to buy one. Is it because yeah. it's shiny and new, or because you want one? Because I actually really like it. Oh, well, that's cool, then. That's, yeah, and it'll yeah. only get better with time, so. Anyway, yesterday was a very busy day in the world of video game releases. We got Hitman Absolution, we got Planet Side 2, Family Guy Mac Back to the Multiverse, uh, Persona 4 Golden, New Borderlands 2 DLC, Devil May Cry demo, and PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Now, there's been a lot of hype surrounding this game for a while, and not all of it good hype either. Some have called it a blatant ripoff of Super Smash Brothers, while other, more stupid commenters have chastised the use of certain characters. For instance, YouTube user The Fig House suggests replacing Fat Princess, or at least making her hotter. Hmm. No matter what your opinion is, though, the reviews are out, and they're actually pretty good. Destructoid's Chris Carter posted his review yesterday and gave the game a 9 out of 10. He praised it for including a tremendous amount of detail, not least of which is the fact that every character feels very unique. Not only that, they stay true to their franchise roots, meaning if you're playing a Sly Cooper, that character is going to look and control as though you're playing a 2D Sly, Sly Cooper game, which is really cool. Um, he also said the rules of the game, which are a little bit unorthodox and require you to gain certain power-up levels before you can actually kill people, that keeps the game competitive but also creates a good sense of urgency. Also, it's worth noting that this one has three attack buttons rather than the usual two, which he says adds an entirely new dimension of depth and gives the player a lot more room for experimentation. He also said it has some of the best level selection of any game in the genre and that there wasn't a single level that he didn't like. Uh, the only part he wouldn't recommend is the arcade mode, which has a series of short single player battles combined with a cutscene and a boss fight for each of the 20 characters in the game. Um, it's a neat idea, I thought, but he said that they all just kind of felt the same after a while and, and once you do it, you know, it takes around 20 minutes each. So 
it's like a fair bit of content, but also it seems kind of like filler at the same time. Um, anyway, the online modes are also pretty jam-packed, and those offer ranked tournament play, quick matches, and PS3 to Vita crossplay, yeah, nah. which he said works really well. Should be noted that Chris reviewed the game on PS3, but it does come with a free Vita version, thanks to Sony's cross-buy program, which I think is amazing. And in fact, a lot of people I know, especially on Twitter I was reading this morning, have been saying that they actually prefer the Vita version to the PS3 version. They said it feels more like an actual arcade game. So either way, if you want to read Chris's full review, you can do that over on Destructoid.com. Com. You were pretty excited for this game, weren't you? Mm -hmm. no? uh, you know. All right, never mind then. Yeah, you know. All right, yeah. We'll be back in just a minute to lay out the biggest deals of Black Friday 2012. But first, why don't we take a moment to thank our sponsor. Hey you, yeah, you. Are you in the market for a sexy new supercomputer telephone? Well, if you are, it wouldn't hurt to check out the HTC One X Plus. Its predecessor, the HTC One X, was one of the best reviewed Android phones on the market, and the One X only improves on that. With a 1.7 gigahertz LTE compatible Tegra 3 processor, 64 gigs of onboard storage, that is a lot of storage, and a nice long battery life, it's an extremely powerful phone that can handle whatever you intend to use it for. If you want to capture pictures or video, it's got both front and rear facing cameras. The rear one is 8 megapixels and it can record 1080p video, not a lot of phones can claim that. It's also got Video Pick, which lets you convert a single frame from a video into a high-res photo, along with Smart Scene, which is software that automatically compensates for backlit settings, dark rooms, or poor photography skills. Well, some of them. If you're into music videos, games, or other things that make noise out of your phone, the HTC One X Plus is the official Beats audio phone, so it's designed to make stuff sound good. I mean, Beats was founded by Dr. Dre, and he's a doctor, so what more do you need? I took the One X Plus home for a weekend, and I will say it is a very sexy piece of hardware. The screen is big and gorgeous. It is uh, incredibly fast. The camera is very slick, and it is the thinnest Android device I've seen. So like I said, if you're looking for a new phone, do yourself a favor and check out the HTC One X Plus. All right, back to the show. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving, my number three favorite holiday of the year, besides Christmas and my birthday. Um, and it just so happens that the day after Thanksgiving is my most dreaded holiday of the year. Of course, I'm referring to Black Friday. Um, I don't know if I can really complain about this because it's one of the few days a year that video games are actually affordable. So to that end, we've compiled a list of the be best Black Friday gaming deals broken down by the big three, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo with a few PC deals sprinkled in. Uh, first up, if you're looking to get an Xbox 360 bundle for super cheap, there are quite a few places you'll be able to do that depending on what kind of bundle you're looking for. If you want something for your kids, I highly recommend the special edition glossy white 4 gig Xbox, that's 149 bucks, and it comes with the Skylander starter kit, Ooh. which is 75 bucks on its own, and uh, an exclusive character that's only available at Walmart. Um, if you want to connect to go with that, there is also a 4 gig Connect holiday bundle that comes with Connect Adventures and Disneyland Adventures, and that one's going to be available from a few different retailers. We've got Microsoft Store, Target, Amazon, Best Buy, and Kmart, all for $199, so not bad, again. Last but not least, if you're looking for something to please the adult or car fanatic or fantasy fanatic in your family, uh, both Best Buy, Fry's, and Newegg, all three of them are offering a 250 gig holiday bundle with download codes for both Forza, Motor Forza Motorsport 4 and Skyrim. That deal is 199 bucks, so again, Ooh. not bad. On the downloadable side of things, Microsoft will be discounting a few games on the Xbox Live Marketplace from now until November 26th. These are mostly DLC packs, but there are a few full games in there. So you can grab Dead Island, Portal 2, The Gunstringer, or Left 4 Dead 2 for 20 bucks. You can also grab Rock Band Blitz, Spelunky, which is an excellent game, and Magic the Gathering 2013, plus an expansion for 600 Microsoft points. That's 750. Again, awesome deals all around. Very good. Yeah. If you're looking to get a PS3 super cheap this Black Friday, there is is really only one option, and it is the ultimate PlayStation 3 value bundle. I'm just trying to make things exciting. Uh, this comes with a 250 gig system, Uncharted's 1 and 2, as well as Infamous 1 and 2, and it'll be available pretty much everywhere. Walmart, Target, Best Buy, uh, from Toys R Us, where you get a free airflow controller, and GameStop, where you get a 30-day PS Plus trial. That is, uh, yeah, 200 bucks. As far as the PS Vita goes, there are a few different bundles that'll be getting discounted to 199. You can grab the white limited edition Assassin's Creed Liberation bundle with a four gig memory card from the PlayStation Store. Target's also got a Wi-Fi bundle that comes with Lego Batman 2. I 
believe that one's also available on the PlayStation Store. Or if your kids have been really naughty this year and you want to give them something awful, you can gift them the Call of Duty Wi-Fi bundle, which comes with uh, a 10-in-1 Vita Essential Pack and a copy of Black Ops Declassified, one of the worst reviewed games of the year. I think Destructo gave it a 1.5. Yeah. Ooh, that one's only available as Toys R Us as far as I know. Uh, if you've already got all the Sony devices you want, you might want to check out the PSN store. Sony's doing a bunch of sales of their ultimate editions of games, which are really just the games and all the DLC. These are discounted, though probably not as discounted as physical editions might actually be in stores. Still, you might be able to snag a bargain or two, especially if you are a PlayStation Plus member, but really, Sony, please take a cue from Steam or even XBLA. Oh, those PlayStation Plus members get all the good stuff. Mm. All right, on to Nintendo. Uh, so the Wii U is obviously the big thing people want this year. It is currently sold out almost everywhere. Reggie has said that Nintendo plans to restock stores with the Wii U for both Black Friday and Christmas. But based on how things have been going, you'd be lucky to get one period, much less for a discount. So there are plenty of other Nintendo things on sale still. Walmart is offering a basic Wii system for $89, as well as a DSi XL for $99. No word yet on the 3DS XL. I haven't seen that for sale anywhere. Last but not least, both Best Buy and Target are offering a 3DS holiday bundle for $149. That comes with the Flame Red 3DS, which is in the Christmas spirit, and a copy of Super Mario 3D Land pre-installed, so not a bad deal. What's that game about? Yeah, it's about Marios and lands and stuff, you know? Uh. All that kind of stuff. Uh, so those are the big console sales that are going on this weekend. If you've already got one and you're simply looking for games, Amazon is always a great place to start. From now until Black Friday, they're offering lightning deals on a lot of recent games. So you'll be able to grab Dishonored for 25 bucks, which is a steal. Max Payne 3 is priced at 15 bucks. The Skylanders Giant Starter Kit, which I said was uh, usually around $75, is discounted down to 39. And they've Quiet. got tons more. Um, these deals do vary from day to day, so make sure you check the website first. But it seems like most of the best ones are either on Thanksgiving or the day after, so yeah. Meanwhile, Toys R Us is having a buy one, get one for one dollar deal on a ton of games also, so you'll be able to grab some more recent ones, again, Dishonored, Sleeping Dogs, etc., for half price, essentially, if you buy two of them. Or if you're looking for something a little more indie, GOG.com, good old games, has a pick five for ten dollar deal on 20 of their current indie titles from now until November 27th. There's some really good stuff in there. They've got Torchlight, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, Trine, lots of good stuff, so yeah. Last but not least, Samsung and Ubisoft are teaming up to offer a free Far Cry 3 PC download to anyone who buys a 250 gig Samsung 840 solid state drive. Uh, that's marked $20 down to $169 between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So $170 for a 250 gig solid state drive and a copy of Far Cry 3 is not a bad deal at all. Does it come pre-installed on the drive? I do not believe so. Mm. But, but then that you have would be to install awesome. it. Oh, I just don't know about that. It's not worth the effort. If you guys are looking for more deals on specific games, Destructoids Alistair Pinsoff just posted a big fat Black Friday 2012 40 best deals guide that breaks it down by retailer, so if that that could be more helpful. Yeah, he's got all the, the actual games listed on there, yeah. whereas that's just too much. Also, work it probably for us. wouldn't hurt to, I don't know, go on to Steam if you're looking for, yeah. for the PC oh, I'm games. Yeah, sure Steam is doing a lot Who knows? of stuff. So. I don't know. On that note, that is all the time we have for today's show. As always, thank you guys for watching. And if you would like to follow us on Twitter, we would like that also. I'm Tara Longest, he is Max Scoville, and together we are the Toyd Show on Twitter. We are not going to be back here on Friday because we will be recovering from post-Thanksgiving meat remorse, so you guys won't see us again until Monday. I apologize for that, but we are humans, guys, and we need a break. And also, meat remorse is a very real thing. I call it meat victory because I've defeated the animals. Also, I, I'll drew, take a, it. I drew a hand turkey. Can you see it? Why are your hands so fat? Never mind. Have a safe and lovely holiday. Try not to get trampled on Black Friday, and we will see you guys on